Hey everybody. So, welcome to The Bright Slide. So this part of the channel, I wanna just talk and just have a combo with not just my women who are out there in transition, but just people who are in transition right now. And I just want to have a, just a comfortable conversation with you all, which is really not a comfortable conversation, but um, it can be when you look at perspective. And I just want to give you all some lessons on some of the things I'm learning in this transition. <clears throat> And so, a lot of you all know by now, if you've uh, been following us, that I have gone from working full-time as a teacher to being a full-time wife, mother, as well as I say business partner for Steven uh, and my business with real estate, as well as doing more full-time social media and vlogging and doing things like that. And I just wanted to point update you all, I am six and a half months pregnant. So some of the things that I have been learning through this transition is I have to allow myself um, to cope with reality. I already felt pulled to be doing something more or something different. And I just have to just do it. And so for those who are struggling with something like that, I mean, allow yourself the, the guts, the courage, like, Give yourself that much credit. Trust your instincts. Um, and then allow yourself to cope with you making a huge decision out of nowhere. Um, allow yourself that time. Um, it's a reality, and it's the reality that you are in at that moment. So take it as for what it is. The process will play out. Um, so along with that, where I am right now is where I am right now. It's where I'm supposed to be. So I'm learning right now. Okay, Regina. This is where you're supposed to be, so uh, embrace what you're supposed to be doing. You're not going to be working right now. For some reason, I will get teaching positions still, um, whether that's subbing or, okay, this, pe these people looking for a full-time position. And yet, I still felt and still feel like, just detach those ties right now, like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Um, that's nice, but no thank you. And yet, I feel bad sometimes, too, because I've contacted so many people to like help me with connections and stuff like that and I mean just all of a sudden I just feel like stop Regina embrace this moment I've had friends of great value in my life tell me Regina you're about to have two kids do you remember how you felt last time and there's nothing wrong with you taking a break and I know sometimes society will say something different but that registered with my um, spirit and what I was feeling like Stop. Stop trying to pressure yourself into something that you've always done and just be still and let this process be uncomfortable. Like, let it be uncomfortable and just learn that what you are doing right now is what you are supposed to be doing. And that is completely being still. I'm not neglecting Brian. I'm not neglecting Steven. I'm not, neg I'm not neglecting the business. But I'm being still and allowing God to place those things back up in my life the way he wants them to be. If that makes sense. If, if you're not a spiritual person, be still and listen strongly to what your instincts are saying. That's what's speaking to you at the moment of what is of importance. I know a lot of us don't like to listen in quiet, but that scary place to a lot of people is the breaking point for a lot of people. It is the it it, it is the place that leads you into something different. And so just uh, just realize that that's where you're supposed to be at that moment and it's okay as you move forward in the weeks or days some people that may be months honestly it may be you know years which is scary to think about what can i do on the side you know like what what can i do with my time and so i still wanted to be intentional okay well that's i'm gonna make sure that we have some good cooked meals if you don't know how to cook you make sure that you're intentional in what you your family eats uh, make sure you're intentional in how your house looks. Uh, make sure you're intentional in the just the necessities that your family members need, what you need. Make sure you're intentional of continuing to feed yourself because you can still be still and feed yourself. Feed your spirit, feed your soul. Like those are things that you can do. When you're stepping into something that's very passionate to you, it's very uncomfortable. Um, someone said, if you want to know your insecurities, become an entrepreneur because that's going to bring out all kinds of insecurities in you because it's nothing but a process. Trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. 
but it's really your consistency and how constant you can stay in that process because those errors, they make your next trial stronger. Like it's a process you learn, you grow from it and all these different kinds of things. Like don't get afraid of that. Sometimes turning something upside down is to empty out some stuff, reveal it and get it out of your system so you can move forward. And I, and I just, it's, it's gonna sound redundant what I'm saying, but I just really, really, really thank God because a lot of things that I was interested in or thought I was interested in at the moment because that's just something that I did, routine. It was what I was used to, it was familiar. I have no interest in it right now, which is maybe right now, a lot of people get shocked when I say, I, I don't have an interest in teaching right now. Does that mean I'm not, okay, being a teacher in life? Yes, I believe I still am. My energy is geared towards my son now. I'm able to be intentional with what he's learning. I'm able to pay attention to what he's learning. What bad habits is he picking up on? What good moments is he having? I get to really be, when I say a teacher, I think when you're a teacher, you're really a student in life. And you get to go from where that person is or where that situation is, and then you know how to move forward. That's the lesson. I think it's all a part of that teaching and learning and all those things. And so in a point, and in a way, I'm still teaching, but I'm not in a facility doing it right now. And that was that was hard for me to cope with. Um, but it turned me upside down to where I, I am able to pay attention and to be a student in life of different things. Things that I truly had interest in that was being taken up um, and covered up because I was so focused on the routine things that I had to do. With that being said, ex don't be afraid to explore. Explore, please, like experiment with things. Educate yourself, continue to do those things. And yet alone, I'm also to put on there, network. I'm gonna put along with that network. Don't be afraid to talk to people about your journey right now. Don't just talk about the glamorous moments in your journey because that really does no one any good. When people get to see the struggle you went through, and when people get to see where you are right now, it really matters for when you get to those moments. I mean, the network that you have, the um, the influence you have, all of that is what really matters when those people get to see all of that. And that's why I'm big on transparency. Um, even those ugly emotions that we have, I don't mind talking about my insecurities. I don't mind talking about how I felt, you know, as a of a woman, other women are doing it, you know, and other women have way more children than me or they're out here doing, you know, doing the same thing, all that kind of stuff. But yet here I am, I, I, comparing yourself is, is never, never healthy because like they said, you didn't write that person's book, that person didn't write their book. They have to live out their own life as well. So what am I gonna spend my time on her, on earth, trying to live out that person's life too and figure out their life and live their life when they are still trying to do that themselves? You know, so I have to focus on what has been given to me. So I've, I've enjoyed experiment. I go to Barnes and Nobles, you know, the Starbucks, and I just be in the moment. I, I like to go and read the different books on blogging, reading different books on the business, like how to bookkeep um, our stuff for the business. I don't mind looking at those books for dummies, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, because I'm, hey, if you're looking at something and trying to educate yourself, you ain't a dummy at all. And so, and explore those different things. Try some stuff. If, if something you like, some sweaters, or you, you can't, you don't have the money, I don't know. Look on YouTube and, and get some 99 cents, you know, needle and thread or something. I don't know how much it costs, you know, now, but explore, experiment with some things, you know. Take a little chunk out of your day and just do something, you know. That still doesn't mean you're not being still. And it still doesn't mean, you know, you're wasting time. Like, explore and experiment with things. And, and then that, that educates you. You never know what you may be wetting in your mind and your heart. What desire that may have been there, you know, and, and what you could be educating yourself on. So, I mean, never have to go back to someone else's job, but to build your own, you know, your own company. So, really, really do that. And, and just network with people. Um, go out there, you know, meet people. Don't be afraid to tell your story because guess what? You can be talking to somebody who just came out of that same situation and is a millionaire now. And now I'm even just talking about money. But somebody who just came out of that situation and the peace and joy that they have is transcending. You know, you never know what you communicating and, and, and networking with somebody can do. So just make sure you do that. And then just last, like I've been saying this whole time, trust the process. Tr trust where you are right now. Trust it. It's a process. It's not going to look the same every day. It, you're not going to get to your destination the next day. For some, it takes weeks. For some, it takes months. For some, it takes years. But trust that if you're intentionally, actively 
understanding and purpose and who you are supposed to be, trust that process. It's going to be extremely uncomfortable. You're going to get extremely down some days. I got extremely down some days. No, it's not my hormones and my pregnancy. So yes, there are moments you're going to get down. There are moments you're going to be like, oh, yo, I'm loving this. I'm loving having to go, you know, to a place every day. You know, I create my own schedule. And then there are going to be times where you get insecure where you're looking at everybody else's routine. You know, but then there are going to be other times where you're going to listen to other people complain about those routines and then thank God for where you are. It's going to be uncomfortable where, um, where you don't feel what's the next step and where you're supposed to be moving. But the thing is, we really have to really, really, really be consistent in this process. Please network with people, not just people who you're talking to and then, okay, that was a conversation. Be intentional about that as well. Like, get people who are life-giving in your life. Please, please, that's something I'm learning alongside with Steven. I'm a firm believer now of yoga. Uh, excuse me. Um, protect your energy. Pay attention to what energy is being given into you because that's going to be the energy you flow right back out. So if you are around people who do complain all the time but aren't making any moves to where they want to go, watch that and watch how it influences you. Watch your language. Watch your body image. Watch how you start to look at yourself. Watch how you start to look at the world. Watch how you start to look at your family, your friends, all that kind of stuff. Really be intentional about who you talk to. Protect your energy. Sometimes that's going to be not you can't talk to family. Sometimes it's going to be you can't talk to your best friends you grew up with. Sometimes it's going to be you can't talk to people in your house. <clears throat> and something I just really have to thank God for is it's is brought me and Stephen close because I understand his struggle now. I understand parts of his journey now. And it's brought us closer. Whereas I would sometimes feel like, oh, he's above me. There were times in my life I felt like I was above him. And it's it's really put us on a intimate, more intimate level now because I understand and, and I can protect his energy. I can help him protect his energy while he's trying to protect his and he can do the same for me because we know where we're trying to go. And even if we don't know exactly what that looks like, we know we're trying to go somewhere bigger, better, and deeper. And so just really trust this process, guys. Um, Y'all know I'm a talker. As if you didn't know, you know now. Um, and I'm not going to sing the song, but uh, now you know. But I, this is part, I would say part one. I've been out of a, driving a specific facility for about, since the late summer, August. This is the month of November, going into December. A good three, three and a half, three, three and a half months. So I say this is the first, you know, quarter of my life uh, in transition. Who knows where I'll be in the next three months. And prayerfully, we'll be bringing y'all the new baby girl on camera. But as of right now, um, I thank God that I've done this. Um, I, I really, really can sigh with relief now. And guess what? That's today. You know, tomorrow I may have those moments again. But I have no doubt right now in my mind and in this process that that moment of relief is going to come again um, of confirmation just get people around you who can who can assure um, the presence of God in your life or if like I said if you're not religious or spiritual who can reassure that you are on the right track to purpose because I believe I all believe in a purpose on earth so um, blessings y'all I hope you have a happy holiday. Um, we'll be getting more videos to you all about different things. Don't forget to subscribe, but also comment. Let us know um, via any of our social media handles. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We are on Facebook. Uh, Steven's on Snapchat, I believe. I deleted mine, but um, email us, text us for those who have that information. But I'm Gina Bina 10 on Instagram and Twitter, and Stephen is Stephen J. Bryce on Instagram and Twitter. And just let us know. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, let us know if you want us to talk about something specific. We will keep you updated on how, what we're learning in parenthood, what we're learning in marriage, what we're learning in our personal dis, um, challenges that we're having with our different transitions. We'll keep you posted on the business, all that kind of stuff. But if you want to know some other things, let us know. Um, we really are open books, so it's probably nothing we won't talk about. So... Blessings y'all once again. Happy holidays and we'll see you soon. Bye.